Next, JSX rules in a React. Well, here I have listed certain rules that we can follow while writing JSX code in a React. The component should return a single React element. Well, let us say you have multiple HTML elements in a JSX, then you have to return one parent, you know, React element. For example, so here let me go to Visual Studio Code ID and let me demonstrate that. So here let me remove this. And let us say you have multiple HTML elements in a JSX. For example, return h1, let us say title, and you have one more HTML element, let us say h2, and let us pass subtitle. And then let us say you have a paragraph, and let us call it as paragraph. And let us say you have image. Well, whenever you have multiple HTML elements in a JSX, then you have to wrap all these multiple HTML elements in a single parent HTML element. So most of the time we use div. For example, here, let us wrap all these HTML elements in a div like this. All right. So this is the important point. So whenever you have multiple element, HTML elements in a JSX, then make sure to wrap all those HTML elements within a single parent HTML element. So most of the time we use div or we use fragment. For example, so here instead of div, we can also use the fragment. So this is the empty, empty tag. So this is basically called a React fragment. Okay. So either you can use div or you know fragment. Next, let us save this file and if you take a look at the browser, the content is not displayed in the web page. Well, whenever you have multiple HTML elements in a multiple lines, then make sure that you include all these multiple HTML elements in a parenthesis. For example, after this return statement, let us have a parenthesis and within a parenthesis, just copy and paste this code. Okay, now if you save this file and if you take a look at the browser, the content is displayed title subtitle paragraph okay so these are the two important points so whenever you have multiple html elements in a jsx then make sure that you wrap all these multiple html elements in a parent you know html element either you can use div or you know fragment next if you write the html code in a multiple lines then make sure that you keep this html code within a parenthesis Next, let us take a look into the next point. To write the HTML on multiple lines, put the HTML code inside a parenthesis. Well, this point I have already demonstrated. Next, use camel case for HTML attributes. To specify the CSS classes for an HTML element, use the class name attribute instead of class attribute. This is because class is reserved keyword in a JavaScript. Well, in order to style the HTML element in a JSX, we have to use class name attribute instead of class attribute because the class attribute is reserved keyword in a JavaScript. Next, event handlers in a JSX are specified using camel case syntax. For example, on click instead of on click or on change instead of on change. Well, if you look at the naming convention for this, you know, event handler on click. So this is a camel case, right? But you can see the on click. So this is the HTML attribute. But if you want to use this HTML attribute in a JSX, you have to use the naming convention as a camel case. Next, let me demonstrate these two points. So let us go to Zoo Studio Code ID over here. And here, let us first create the CSS class. So we can create a CSS class within app.css. So go to app.css and here just type dot and let us view the class name as title. And then within a curly braces, just type color. Type so let us view title color as a red. Just save this and let's go back to hello world.js. And here, in order to add the CSS class to the HTML element, we have to use class name property. For example, here go to ht1 element and just type class name and then pass title CSS class. And then just save this file. And if you look at the browser, title is in red color. Okay. So this is how we can use class name property to add the CSS class. All right. And if you use 
class attribute this will give the error for example if you go to browser and here just inspect this page right click inspect and if you go to console here you can see invalid DOM property class did you mean class name all right so browser will give hint like instead of using class just use class name in a react all right it means the class is a result keyword in javascript that's why whenever we want to add a css class to the html element in a react we have to use class name property like this all right perfect next point is event handlers in a jsx are specified using camel case syntax for example on click instead of on click so let us go to visual studio code id and here let me remove this image and here let me add the button and let us add the handler by using on click on click attribute well if you can notice here in a plain html we use the attribute that is on click and if you look at here the on click attribute in a lower case okay and same on click attribute we want to use in a jsx we have to use camel case for example here instead of on click let us type on click and this on click should be in a camel case all right and next let us pass the event handler name let us say handle click well in a plain in a html element in order to specify the event handler name we have to use the string for example like this right but in jsx we have to include the handler name within a curly braces for example like this handler click so this is the event handler name next let us use a javascript function to handle this handle click so here just create one javascript function function handle click and then just let's have a alert statement let us say button clicked and then just save this file all right and let us give name to the button here let us say click and then save this file and if you we'll take a look at the browser over here the click button is visible in the page next go ahead and click on this click button and there we go the alert is popped up it says button clicked okay next click on ok button all right so this is how we can specify the event handler in a jsx using the on click and the on click should be in a camel case okay perfect next let us take a look into next point expressions within a curly braces you can embed javascript expressions within a jsx elements by wrapping them in a curly braces well javascript expressions can be a variable or an expression for example let me demonstrate this let's go to visual studio code id and here let me create one javascript variable let us say const name and let us give name ramesh so if you want to use this javascript expression in a jsx we have to wrap this expression within a curly braces for example here after this paragraph let me use one more paragraph and in order to access this name in this html element we can use open and close curly braces and just pass name and if you save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see rms is displayed in a web page all right so this is how we can access the javascript expression or a variable within a jsx by using open and close curly braces next let us take one more example that is a const and then addition one plus two and then let us use this addition in a jsx by using curly braces for example let us use paragraph element over here and then within a curly braces just call addition and then save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see 3 is printed all right so jsx will basically execute this expression and it will print the result like this all right great next let us take a look into next rule jsx follows xml rules and therefore html elements must be properly closed if an element does not have any children 
you can use self closing tag for example if you go to vs code and if you go to app.js file over here and if you look at the component so here we are using hello world component within an app component and this hello world component don't have any content within it that's why we have used self closing tab to close this hello world component like this okay so make sure that whenever you use the component or any html element in a jsx make sure that you close them all right so these are the important rules that you have to keep in mind whenever you work with jsx in a react so these are the jsx rules i have listed over here as per my experience so just you know try to follow these rules to write the jsx code all right great in next lecture we'll take a look into the props all right great i will see you in the next lecture